guys! I'm really super excited to present you this video. It's a new segment, the best kidney-friendly recipes suitable for your renal diet. Today we're making a one-pot pasta dish, very very flavorful and easy to make, but really low in potassium and phosphorus. Hello, how are your kidneys doing? This is Catherine, welcome to Double O Kidney. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's really great to be here with you today. This is a new segment and I hope you like it. I'm always recommending people to eat this or that food but I never really say how to prepare them. And I believe that everyone should have the possibility to eat something flavorful even if they have to follow a strict kidney diet. This recipe is a complete meal, 8 servings with a balanced nutritional values and it's 100% kidney friendly. Very, very easy to make and I'll show you step by step how to get it done quickly. It's an easy one pot pasta dish and it shouldn't take you much time to make it. Let's start! For 8 servings we need 500 grams of pasta, 300 grams of chicken, we need 2 tomatoes, 1 zucchini, 1 pepper, garlic, parmesan, rosemary, pepper, basil, oregano, olive oil and chicken broth. First of all, cut the chicken breast into pieces. Then, mince the garlic. Set everything aside. Slice one zucchini. Two tomatoes, and one red bell pepper. Set all aside. Set a large pot on medium-high heat with some olive oil. Add the chicken breast. And the garlic that we prepared earlier. Saute for 5 or 10 minutes until it's not completely done. Add the rosemary, the black pepper, the basil, and the oregano. When the chicken starts to look good, add everything we diced earlier. The zucchini, tomatoes, and red bell pepper. And some wine. Saute for other 5 minutes. Now, a lot of patients are on a protein restricted diet, but they still need some proteins. Chicken breast is one of the best sources of high quality proteins and is one of the things that make this recipe great. 
In this recipe, for 8 servings, there are 300 grams of chicken breast containing about 90 grams of proteins. Remember to count them in your daily allowance. You can also use low protein pasta if you want. Remember to remove the pot from the heat as soon as it's done. In the meanwhile, bring 700 milliliters of chicken broth to a boil with some white wine. If you don't want wine in your recipe, you can use more chicken broth, but a small amount of wine is not bad at all. Add some water. When it's boiling, add 500 grams of pasta. Here in Italy, we usually put pasta in the water as soon as the water is boiling. Always scream, butta la pasta, while doing this. Also, it is absolutely a must to cook pasta just until it is al dente. Stir during cooking to prevent pasta from sticking. The trick here is to start removing the pasta when it's still a bit undercooked. Use a ladle to drain the pasta and put it in the same pot as the other ingredients. Use another ladle to add some broth. Cook it for another couple of minutes or until all the sauce thickens. Serve with some shredded Parmesan cheese. Buon appetito! And remember to let me know in comments if you tried this recipe and how it was. This is all for today. If you liked this video, please like and leave a comment. Thank you for watching.